From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. Jason Stiff has our Thursday forecast. Plus, a big controversy is brewing in Bozeman surrounding leaked video of the city manager. But first, our top story. Speculation continues to grow this noon that Congressman Matt Rosendale will officially announce his run for the U.S. Senate in the coming week. Several news outlets are reporting the announcement could come as early as this weekend as Montana Republicans gather for their winter meetings in Helena. A spokesperson for Rosendale told myself that he still has not decided but did confirm he is speaking at that Montana GOP meeting Saturday. Meanwhile, former Montana Congressman Denny Reberg is now eyeing a possible return to politics. Last night, he confirmed to MTN he is considering a comeback bid for Congress should Rosendale vacate his current House seat. Reberg served as Montana's then lone congressman from 2000 to 2012, eventually departing politics after he unsuccessfully challenged Democratic Senator John Tester for the U.S. Senate. Reberg said that he actually had no plans to return to politics until just last week when he heard his name was being tested in a poll for Rosendale's seat. That we need some leadership in Washington and maybe I can take my seniority back and have an influence over what's going on in Washington DC maybe change the direction so I'm really worried. You can watch the entire conversation right now on your local MTN station. It's been a week since we first told you about a leaked video of Bozeman City Manager venting to a coworker about colleagues and the city. Now, as MTN's Kristen Merkel reports, this situation is making news now out of state. City Manager Jeff Mihalik has been on paid administrative leave since February 1st. And now his story is making headlines outside of Bozeman. Bozeman, Montana City Manager is in hot water tonight over a series of comments he made during a video conference call he thought was private. Included in those comments were some choice words about the city of Austin. As we previously reported, during the leaked video, Mihalik is seen venting to a colleague about Bozeman Mayor Terry Cunningham and working in a small town. Mihalik then goes on to talk about getting recruited for Austin's city manager position. CBS Austin reporter Andrew Freeman. What he thought was in secret, Jeff Mihalik told a colleague that he was contacted by a recruiter searching for Austin city manager candidates. Not only did he then go on to disparage the city of Austin and its form of government, he alleges he was told that position would pay, get this, $475,000. But guess what it pays? Just the base salary. Okay, tell me. You, you just guess. It's funny. He then disparaged the city and how its government is structured. There's no way a city like that operates as it should. Freeman reports that they reached out to Mihalik for a statement and did not hear back. MTN reached out to the city of Bozeman again, and they say they are looking into the facts of this incident and that it's too early to tell what the next steps will be. And since Mihalik is on administrative leave, there is no way of reaching out to him for comment. Thank you, Jim. There will be a special meeting held Monday at City Hall to address the next steps for the city manager. In Bozeman, Kristen Merkel, MTN News. A Dillon man has been found guilty of felony and misdemeanor charges connected to the January 6th riot at the Capitol. In a three-day bench trial, the judge found Hank Munzer guilty of civil disorder and obstruction of an official proceeding, along with several other misdemeanors. Court documents accuse him of posting videos describing the incident on social media, including tear gas and pepper spray deployed by police. Video evidence shows Munzer inside the building and confronting officers. The U.S. Department of the Interior launched a pilot program to strengthen local government's wildfire response. The program can be used by local governments to purchase slip-on tanker units that will allow them to quickly convert trucks and other vehicles to operate as wildland fire engines. Funded with an initial $5 million investment, this program will help small remote emergency response agencies to quickly expand their wildfire response capacity. The funding comes from the more than $785 million bipartisan infrastructure law. Local governments that provide emergency services to areas with a population of 25,000 or less 
are eligible to apply. Grant applications are due March 21st. Valentine's Day is coming up and Columbia Falls citizens are trying to make sure everyone feels loved. Heaven's Peak Healthcare is working with the Montana Army National Guard to collect Valentines for veterans. They are collecting Valentine's Day cards, homemade or store-bought, to distribute to veterans at the Columbia Falls Veterans Home. They have received some donations, but they are hoping for more cards. If they receive an abundance of cards, they'll go ahead and distribute them to retirement homes. We would just love to challenge everybody to get cards to us so we can get it out there and just show these people our love and support um, because this is a great thing to allow to let these people know um, how loved and appreciated they really are. These veterans have served. They've given their sometimes lifetimes and sometimes lives for our freedoms and liberties to do what we take for granted and giving back this little bit of joy is very meaningful and just a small thank you. If you would like to donate cards, you can drop them off at Heaven's Peak Healthcare in Columbia Falls by Monday, end of the business day. Nationwide on February 9th, the Tim Tebow Foundation throws a party like none other, and for the first time, it is coming to Missoula. The First Lutheran Church will host a night to shine at the Hilton Garden Inn. It is a prom for those with special needs. The night consists of limos, a red carpet, food, dancing, karaoke, and most importantly, a crowning of every single guest as either a prom queen or prom king. And we wanted to reach out to the community and, you know, our, our goal is to be a beacon um, for the community and so we saw this as an opportunity to, to serve. Registration is closed for Night to Shine. However, First Lutheran is planning on continuing the prom next year. And that's a look at some of the day's top stories. And good Thursday afternoon, everyone. We've had some light amounts of snow for the western and central parts of Montana, tapering off now around Helena as well as Missoula and Butte, a little bit more around the Lewistown area, and just a little bit of lingering mist as well as some light snow around the Flathead, Kalispell, getting a little bit of active weather, but mostly active weather is in the eastern third of the state where we have temperatures below freezing, lots of clouds, gusty wind, not making for the most pleasant day to be outside, mainly mid to upper 20s from Glasgow all the way toward Miles City and Baker, and also plenty of 20s and 30s for the rest of the state. What about our next chance for snow? Off your complete seven day forecast in a couple minutes.